What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am here today to do swatches and a little review of the Sophia Nygaard lipstick collection with Colourpop. These are her Franken lipsticks. I'm really excited for these. I am a little bit late on doing this video because my order took a little bit of time to get to me. Understandable because they had a very high order volume, but I would love to have gotten it sooner so I could do a video for you guys. However, they're here now and I'm gonna swatch all six of them today. And I am also going to do a little review of the lipstick formula at the end of this video because I've actually, as far as I can remember, never used the ColourPop bullet lipsticks before. So I want to give you guys my thoughts on what the formula is like and stuff. I think I may have tried one metallic one with the Disney Villains collection, but I don't really remember it. And I also am not even sure. Of course, because Sophia Nygaard is the Bat Queen, I wore a bat winged eyeliner today. To go along with these lipsticks, I also recorded a tutorial on this look on my eyes with the ColourPop Smoke Show palette, which should be up within a couple of days of when you're seeing this video. So I'm not saying that that's a reason that you should subscribe if you haven't already, but like, why would you want to miss something fun like that? You know what I mean? I am saying that that's why you should subscribe. That's what I'm saying. I am saying that. I haven't done a swatch video in a while, but the last few times I did them, I left timestamps to each color in the video description down below. So that way, if you are specifically interested in one color and you want to like come back to it later, you could just jump down to the description and click and see the lip swatch right there. I will put it out there in advance. That I absolutely love Sophia's videos and I am super excited for these. However, of course, I will not let that color my opinion of the lipsticks themselves. If they suck, they suck. And I will let you know I have to admit that this Batwing eyeliner look is like, I'm living for it right now. Like I want to wear this every day. I'm like way too old and dorky to like be this goth, but like I want to still, you know what I mean? Oh, and just in case you didn't catch the update in one of my recent videos, we are doing book club the week of Halloween. We are reading Stephen King's Carrie in order to be festive for Halloween and also do like one little quick installation of that series before we move on to like another longer series of books that have like a lot going on. I just wanted to do something festive and fun. All of the information for that will be in the description as well. It's going to be a really loaded description box is the moral of the story. I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about before we get into it today because it's very straightforward. We're doing a swatch video. I did do a fairly thorough review of these. Like I went through each shade because there's only six of them. So if you're really curious what the set is like, stick around to the end of the video for that. I will timestamp that as well. I think that is all I need to tell you. So let's just start swatching the Sophia Nygaard ColourPop Franken lipsticks. You hurt me, you did several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different I find it hard to commit But you don't even try Still I'm better with and without you Oh, I, I'm on it, I want it Oh, I, do you see the call in your eyes? I can't tell if you're here to me I just need this to be real I don't need no fairy tale You don't need a killer Dragon for me I just need this to be real I don't need no fairy 
get comfy in my chair right now. Why? Why? After swatching all six shades, I am now pretty convinced that I have never tried ColourPop's bullet lipsticks before because when I put the first one on, I was shocked at how creamy it is and how opaque it was for the depth and the unconventionalness of that color. So the first one that I swatched was Bruce and it's on the deeper side. It's a matte shade, by the way. And it's also this like turquoise blue, sort of like a gray sort of, it's just a very unconventional shade. And what I usually notice in shades like this is that they can be very difficult to make look even sometimes. Because at least for me, they're the opposite of my lip color. My lip color is very pink, so it shows through if there's like any sort of glitch in the matrix, if you will. This just spread on super easy, super creamy, and very opaque all in one swipe, and I was very impressed right off the bat. As far as the smell of them, I don't think they smell a little bit like something, but mostly like nothing. Right out of the gate, I was really impressed with Bruce. I also really like that color. I think it's very interesting, and I think it's one of the rare lipstick shades that I can say I don't have a dupe of. The second one, however, also a matte, but I did feel like the formula of this color was a little bit more stiff than Bruce. I needed to kind of finesse it just a tiny bit more to make it completely opaque, but once I did, I love this color. It's a gorgeous, rich, matte, burgundy, I, which is, I mean, if you've been around here for any amount of time, you know I love that. There are a couple of cream shades in here too. Fred, the red shade, is a cream as well. I love cream finish and satin finish lipsticks, so I'm excited that these aren't all mattes, but I must say that the mattes themselves are not the driest, most matte mattes that I've ever worn. They're just slightly more matte than the creams are. Bury Me in lipsticks is also a cream. This shade was like the most kind of, I don't wanna say basic because I feel like that has an unnecessarily negative connotation. Although, let me just say something. There's nothing wrong with being basic if that's what you'd like to be, okay? I hate when people get like on people's ass for that. This one definitely I think has the most mass appeal, which if I'm not mistaken, this one is the one that they based off the video where she did the amalgamation of every lipstick in one store, which makes a lot of sense because this is like the composite average of every lipstick then. I might be wrong. This might not be from that video, but I think it might have been, which would make it all add up. The next one, Mrs. Norris, is also a cream finish. And I'm gonna be honest with you. When I opened this one, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be hideous on me. But you know what? I kind of like it. The color reminds me a bit of Cashmere Velveteen from Lime Crime, which I bought years ago. Again, didn't know that I was gonna like it, kind of felt like I was going out on a limb and then wound up loving it. And this is like a comfy cream version of that shade and I'm here for it. Finally, the shade that is still on my lips right now, Bikini Bottom, also a cream shade, just a really, really pretty nude. This is it with absolutely no liner or anything and it's just, it's really, really nice. I would absolutely wear this color on a day-to-day -day basis for sure. Like this might become my October throw it in my purse color because that way I have an easy comfy nude that I know looks good on me. And it also has festive October bats on it. Although it does not need to be October for me to enjoy bats. Right but now I know that this collection is sold out, but I did see them post yesterday that they're supposed to be restocking it in the beginning of December. I think they said the 6th. I'm gonna leave all the information that I can find for it in the description down below in case you are interested. Overall, the quality of these lipsticks is fantastic. I think ColourPop absolutely nailed their bullet lipstick formula. As far as the shades are concerned, I think that a couple of them are fairly dupable, like Fred and Bury Me in Lipsticks. Like you could 
definitely find dupes for those shades very easily. And even Screamer, the deep burgundy shade, this one is definitely dupable as well. But if you do like the shades and you don't have a million like it in your collection, or you are just like me and you don't care that you have similar lipsticks in your collection, I think this set is fantastic. I think they kind of killed it on this one. I'm having a hard time coming up with any major cons for it. The only things that I could say are negative is Screamer is a little bit more of a stiff formula than the others in the collection, but like really only by a small amount. And a couple of the shades are definitely dupable and that's it. Please go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know, do you watch Sophia's videos? If you don't, you should. Honestly, like she really has such pleasant content and she's like such a pleasant person to watch. Every time I watch one of her videos, I walk away feeling like uplifted and like I watch something that gave me information in a fun way. I don't know. I really just like her videos and I also have gotten my husband hooked on her videos. He gets excited whenever he sees an upload from her too. <laughs> but yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you watch her. Let me know if you have your eyes on this collection. What do you think of the shades? What do you think of ColourPop's lipstick formula if you've used it before? Because I had no idea what I was missing out on to be quite frank. I think the reason that I didn't really gravitate toward it is because I don't like their matte liquid lipsticks very much. So I was just I don't know, that put me off. That shouldn't have, that's stupid, but it did. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found the swatches and review helpful today. I know that this one is a little bit on the shorter side than the videos that we normally do, but I'll be back in a couple of days doing a few looks with the Smoke Show palette, including this one that's on my eyes right now, so stick around for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanna keep up with me between videos, if you wanna see what's coming on this channel, take votes on what's coming next, just see behind the scenes, PR unboxings, all that kind of stuff, come follow me on Instagram. I'm at Miss Quinface over there. I also post more elaborate lip art and close-ups of my makeup on my feed. And I would love to have you be part of that little crew as well. I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate all of you and I will see you in the next one.